being cooked in a bowl of soup on an alien planet. <laughs> I couldn't possibly be in any more pain. Me too. Oh, hi. I suppose you're wondering how we got into this situation. The thought hadn't occurred to me. Hi, I'm Addie, star of the Jillian and Addie channels. Co-star. Let me tell the story. It all started a long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away. Whoa, an alien spacecraft? Jillian will never believe me. Whoa, an alien spacecraft? Addie will never believe me. I'm right here. Oh, yeah. Wait, didn't we just do a video about an alien invasion a few months ago? Yeah, but it didn't perform as well as the Alien Baby series, so we're trying again. You know, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. <laughs> yeah. So what do you think we should do about the forthcoming alien invasion? I don't know. What did we do last time? Yeah, we're gonna pretend that never happened now. But you said that never happened. Alright, how about we call a first responder? Ooh, how about Captain America? He's both virtuous and photogenic. I was thinking someone less... fictional. You're right, and since it's aliens, we should probably call Captain Kirk from Star Trek. He'll know what to do. Wait, are you talking William Shatner or Chris Pine? Please, do you even have to ask? Regardless, they're both fictional characters, too. I want to believe. That's it! We'll call the FBI! They can send one of those X-Files agents out here. Already have them on speed dial. Well, did you get through? There's a pre-recorded message. Well, what's it say? If this is regarding an alien invasion, press 1. Wow, seems like they're on top of this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You do know that's just a recording, right? Alright. Yeah? Thank you! Well, are you gonna tell me? Oh yeah, there's a full-scale alien invasion going on. Nothing to worry about. Uh, I'd say that's definitely something we need to worry about. They've gotten reports from all around the world. It seems like these aliens are friendly and have good intentions. Wait, they've already contacted the aliens? Yeah, and these particular aliens are called Canimates. Canimate? Sounds like a kitchen tool for opening jars. They said you can't miss them, they're about seven feet tall with a big lumpy face. You sure they're not talking about Mickey Rourke? Addie, I'm not gonna say this again, stop face shaming Mickey Rourke. <laughs> Addie, you better pray that isn't Mickey Rourke. Julian, was that one of the cantaloupes? It's canimates, not cantaloupes. Whatever. I assume it's a canimate. It fits the description. Ugh, thank goodness it wasn't Mickey Rourke. Okay, so there's a canimate out there. What do you think we should do? You're the one who said they're supposed to be friendly, right? That's what the FBI's X-File group says anyway. I guess we didn't make a very good first impression, slamming the door in his face. Maybe he's still out there. Yeah, maybe he- Uh, Jillian? Ah! He opened the door! No monster ever thought of that before! We come in peace and mean you no harm. Wait, how is he talking without moving his lips? Assuming aliens have lips. We communicate psychically by talking directly to your brain. Yeah, we all know what psychic communication means. There are many things we can teach your people. Your people? 
What do you mean by your people? Addy, you're gonna offend the big ugly alien. Rest assured, we will do you no harm. Wait, you left something behind. What is it? It's a book. It's just a bunch of alien gibberish. Let me take a look at it. It can't be that hard to figure out. Can you make anything of it? Well, if I were to pronounce this symbol, it would sound something like you get that? Yeah. Stop that. I meant, what does it mean? Heck if I know. This thing makes us about as much sense as Finnegan's Wake. Oh, so we're making James Joyce references now? Yeah, that always goes over well with the YouTube demographic. So you think we can trust these Kermit's guys? I think so. It says here they're already taking up space tourists for free rides. Ooh, Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos aren't gonna like that. What about Richard Branson from Virgin Galactic? Come on, Jelaine. Everyone knows they do a suborbital flight that barely counts as space travel. Ah, came back for your book, did ya? What's the title of this thing, anyway? Did you try flipping it over? Huh? To serve man. Eh, no wonder us humans haven't figured out interstellar travel, couldn't even flip the book around. It happens to the best of us. To serve man. That sounds encouraging and perfectly harmless. Uh, yes. <laughs> and it couldn't possibly have any other meanings, such as a more sinister one. <laughs> Why do you keep chuckling furtively to yourself as if trying to conceal a deep dark secret? Uh, no reason. So do you want your book back? Besides the title, there's not really anything else we can read here. You can keep it. But what's the rest of the book about? Oh, you'll soon find out. <laughs> he seemed like a jolly fellow. Really? For some reason, I get the feeling that he's not being entirely honest with us. Addy, don't worry about it. All these happy-looking space tourists on social media can't be wrong. Well, it's true. Social media has never steered us wrong before. Then it's settled. We're going on a free journey to another planet. Wait, I never agreed to that. And done. I just booked us a trip. Easier than calling an Uber. I'm ready to take you to the spacecraft. Yes! Come on, Addy. Addy? Is something wrong? Jillian, I just realized the rest of this book, to serve man, it's a cookbook! Oh, wow. Who could have seen that twist coming? Uh, we changed our mind. No space flight for us. <laughs> if you cancel on us now, I'll give you a one star rating. Good luck getting an Uber or Lyft to ever pick you up again. He's got us there, Jillian. <laughs> you know, space travel wasn't all that bad. Yeah, and the meal service is much better than on Earth. Hey, I didn't get a spoon. <laughs> 15% off November, 15% off all merch, 15% off November, 15% off shop early. That's right, you can get 15% off all of our merch through the entire month of November. Just use the discount code SHOP EARLY and get 15% off your entire order. That's 15% off t-shirts and hoodies, 15% off book bags and blankets, 15% off all of our merch! But you have to enter that discount code SHOP EARLY. That's one word, no spaces, SHOP EARLY. Just click on the links below, and they'll take you to our Teespring store. Or just go to JillianAndAddy.com. It's all good. So that was Eaten by Aliens. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe.
Be sure to check out our other two channels. There's Jillian and Addie, our main channel, and Jillian and Addie Life, our vlogging channel. They're a ton of fun. Tell us what you thought about this video on Instagram. We also post new pictures, videos, and stories most every day. We also post sneak previews of our upcoming videos, like this one. And remember, stay scared. Bye. Wait, aren't you supposed to be on the spaceship? How'd you get off? Oh, you still have the book? We just jumped. You still have the book. <laughs> no. How did you suddenly translate the rest of the book? <laughs>